Welcome to the Corporation. This is your first introduction into the series, for which you will become an initiate in this new, upcoming, and growing enterprise. What is the enterprise? Well, you'll find out the more you go along the way. I'm sorry for the secrecy and obtuseness, but we really can't reveal too much. This helps weed out candidates who would not be suitable for the business. I assure you, it's not to waste anyone's time. I know you put a lot of resources and gumption into coming here today. What we want isn't for the weak in constitution to just show up and bail out mid process. That's why we designed the course the way it is now. If you are fed up, then it is engineered to make. You give up sooner than later. So don't worry about trying to hard to stay or be afraid of leaving. All right. Now that is out of the way, I will give you some review on our founding principles. I know you must have seen some of them on the letter before you came, but this will be much, much more thorough. So if you need to take a break, I can give you 15 minutes or so before we start. I don't want you getting uncomfortable. You're going to need that strength for um, the content we have ahead. So if you're ready, I am ready to begin. You cannot see and not see occupying a simultaneous instance. You cannot exist and not exist occupying a simultaneous instance. You cannot have meaning and no meaning occupying a simultaneous instance. These would be metaphysical impossibilities. However, outside of metaphysical nature, there would always be a meta within which exists and not exists. Things this meta doesn't understand and so on and so on and so on. Indefinitely with no essential limit or law or rule. Besides its own contextual boundaries that define no ultimate ulterior rule or boundary. In other words, a context outside of itself is forever unknowable to itself. But considering the immediacy of now, these words are ultimately just attributions I am making to it. They are not absolute fundamental natures. At least, that is the understanding in the context of now. Seeing cannot have a context other than its seeing, other than which these attributions of words tell. The reality is doomed to itself, according to the narrative. But if there are no rules, and rules, boundaries, are the things which govern the moment, and these words and thoughts, then two or more instances must necessarily exist simultaneously to another in the moment, thus allowing boundless generative spontaneity and simultaneously limited narrowed focus. However, non-existence isn't a rule. It's not a state of being. So if something exists, it exists. Seeing is seeing. If seeing is not seeing, then it hasn't been defined as anything, and is therefore non-existence. If I am confused over the statement seeing is not seeing, then it is not a rule over the statement itself. The statement is still itself. It stands on its own. That doesn't necessarily mean anything else. Limitations are only applied to actualities or things themselves, or instances of sensory observation. To the limitless nothingness, because it is nothingness. The limitations are not known until they are known. If nothingness is not nothingness, 
then it is no longer limitless and something and or an instance of consciousness or something else unknown to those contexts. Of course, I am applying attributions to the nothingness and it is not necessarily the true. So something can be nothing and nothing can be something for no reason at all. Aside from these words, regardless of whether they are applied or not. For no reason other than the reason and no reason simultaneously. Ball, well, I don't even know what I am saying anymore. But I also know it. And don't know it. For no reason and reason. For no reason and reason other than itself and nothingness. What is reason other than a cause? There's a basis of speculation and belief from deduction and inference. But I also don't have to take that definition. I can give it nothing and see it for the word itself. Uh, if the universe doesn't obey rules, uh, if the universe doesn't obey reason, if the universe can simultaneously exist and not exist at the same time and have causes with no foundation, then I really don't know and know indefinitely, finitely, and infinitely. A meta within a meta, and so on and so forth, allows both rules and no rules of its kind, indefinitely, finitely, and infinitely, simultaneously, instantaneously. Therefore, sane is insane, and insane is insane, and sane is sane, and so on and so on. And not, and not. Nothing and everything, and vice versa. The universe does not obey reason, because it does obey reason. <laughs> that is correct. And correct. And neither, in the instance. If reason says it is separate from the universe, it is also still a part of it. And simultaneously. It is the universe. <laughs> there is no circular and there is circular reasoning occupying the instance simultaneously because reason says the universe does not obey reason <laughs> thus must allow for it to exist and not exist with it the instance and not simultaneously <laughs> reason doesn't exist and exists for no reason and reason Yes. I'm sorry if that was awfully um, confusing and a mouthful to listen to, but it is essential material for studying on the days ahead. Now, I understand you must be asking, besides whatever it was you were wondering during all that rambling and nonsense, what do we actually do here? <laughs> Rather, what will you be doing? That concludes this session for today. Whatever thoughts you had might have been received. You are not to tell anyone about this meeting as a part of our confidentiality agreement. Uh, thank you.